Well, you were actually with ODB right before he died. Yeah, I was with ODB before he died. On stage. Yep. Can you tell me about that? It was not a good memory for me because he, I, 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 we all know he died of drugs and he was smoking crack, you know, but he came on my tour bus, man. And right before his show, cause he didn't have anything to, you know, no back, no green room back there or anything. It's at the gathering of the juggalos. And, and I knew he was about to go on stage and I could see that his eyes were really glassy and you could tell that he had just hit up, you know? And, uh, and I was like, man, just thinking in my head, I was like, how are you going to go perform? You can barely even look me in the face and say two words. Uh, maybe he can remember all of his, this is ODB. He's a legend. He never wrote a song in the studio. He never wrote the words. He just freestyled it. So I knew that he had an ability there that maybe it just kind of took over once the crowd got out there and he'd be all right. You know, and I was like, I got to go see this. So I sat on the side of the stage with him and he went out there and didn't know how to talk at all and was scratching his head and his DJ was on the same level as him and didn't know which button to push on the Roger Lynn. And I go back there and I come out on stage because they were throwing watermelons at him and rocks and stuff. And I had to explain to the crowd, I go, listen, man, I'm just going to level with you guys. He's really fucked up right now, this guy, you know, and he doesn't really can't comprehend what's going on. But you have to understand this guy is a legend. This is Wu-Tang Clan, man, one of the greatest rappers and poets of all time and maybe fucked up. And he's showcasing to you guys right now that he got a little too fucked up because he's having a good time out here with all you guys. And they cheered it. They stopped throwing shit. And they were like, we understand, man. And I went back to the DJ and I hit play. And we put, baby, yeah, I got your money. All he needed to do was play a song. If he would have just played any song, one beat, they would have loved it. But he stood out there for so long going, uh, uh, and, uh, and they played it and they cheered him and gave him a standing ovation as he walked off. Not even two weeks later, I even did a song with him. I did a song with him. And it never came out. It never came out. And it never will come it out. It never will come out. I would never do that to him or family or any of those people. But he was a, a friend of mine at the last part of his life, which was probably the worst part of his life. But, but we did have some good conversations when he wasn't high. You know what I mean? He was all there. Dude was a badass. Freaking poet, man. But yeah. That stuff gets you and you, it, it doesn't let you go. And if you're not strong enough to get away from it or have self-discipline to pull yourself out of something, it's got you. You're just going to go with it. And it, 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 he was way too deep. You could tell, man. Poor guy.